Hi everyone, myself Dr. A.P. Kausalya Devi, Assistant Professor of Botany, Desafar College for Women, Suvagasi. Today our topic is crossing over. Okay, first we shall see what is over, uh, mean by crossing over. So crossing over, it is me or it is otherwise called as recombination. What do you mean by recombination? It has been results an exchange of chromosome segments that actually takes place during the pachytane stage of prophase 1 of meiosis 1. Of course, we all know about mitotic and meiotic division. What is the difference between mitotic and meiotic division? So, the meiotic division is otherwise called as the reduction division and the meiotic division will take place only in the reproductive cells or in the during gametogenesis. Okay, there you can see the meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and meiosis 2 is nothing but the mitotic stage. In the meiosis 1 alone, the reduction division will take place that in the normally it is the prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1. So, in the prophase 1, there in the packetin stage alone, this crossing over will occur. So, what is the concept of this? Uh, now, you can see the picture there. It is the homologous chromosome. You can see you have a blue colored and a yellow color. These are the chromatids and you can see uh, they, are, uh, they are having the duplications of that. That is in the center, in the centromere place, it has been attached together. And why I have been given the two different colors mean you should know the differentiation that is one in from the maternal chromosome and another from the paternal chromosome. And why they are called as homologous chromosome means if it is the first chromosome from the father, father and it is the same first chromosome from the mother, both of the are the homologous chromosomes. And in the below it has been given as chromatids, isn't it? Yes, it is called as chromatids or chromosome arm. Okay, and it has been pointed that red color and green color. It has it is all denoting the position of the genes. So in the last class itself, we already see uh, what is the genes, the location of genes. Okay, when these two homologous chromosomes they lie side by side. Now you can see it is in the tetrad stage because you can see four chromatids there, and the two chromatids, uh, the that blue color. Uh, you can see the two chromatids, they are the sister chromatids and the yellow too, they are the sister chromatids. Now the blue and yellow, they are the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes. Okay, now you can understand the concept. So it is the sister chromatid means they attach to the same single centromere. Non-sister means they are different, attached to the different centromere. So the crossing over will occur only between the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome. You can see in the second picture, the blue and yellow, there come the crossing. And in the third picture, easily you can see now the chromosome segments have been exchanged. So for example, if it is the red color in the blue, it, it may represent a dominant gene. In the yellow color, it may represent a recessive gene, gene for a character, any character. It may be a dominant and a recessive. Uh, for you take if it is a tall and dwarf itself for our convenience. So now the genes has been exchanged. So the new combination will be formed. It is the only reason that we are not as per as such as of the cloning of our parents. We are not representing as such as our parents. We are because and uh, even though we are uh, blood brothers or blood sisters, we are having the differences because each time there occurs the crossing over of the segments and so the genes will be get exchanged. Okay, so now which gamete is going to may, may, uh, form the uh, zygote then it will differ. Okay, now it is, uh, it is the same thing now you can uh, easily understood. It is the first uh, in the first one you can see the homologous chromosomes one it has been white and other has been in black, black colored it has been denoted. In the second to the arrow you can see so now it has in the bivalent stage oh no no it has been two. So now and it is the tetrad. Now you can see the crossing over of the segments and the crossing over of the segments you get a new thing and as a result you get the four gametes. The four gametes are not as such representing the parents. You can see two gametes, the first and the fourth one representing as such as of the parent that is the first one. The first picture clearly image that is the parent. So the gametes which are formed, the two gametes it is representing the same but in the center of the two they are of the non-parental combination. It is the thing which has been result to crossing over. Now we can uh, see it with an example of the drosophila. Okay, it is the crossing over is otherwise called as incomplete linkage also because in the la before session itself you might see complete linkage is present only in the male drosophila. Here you can see it is the drosophila. Uh, you can see uh, uh, that is your fruit fly. Uh, drosophila melanogaster, many genetical uh, research has been carried out in these uh, fruit fly alone. You can see here uh, the first one it is the male and the second one it is a uh, uh, first one it is a female and the second one it is a male 
the first one it has been represented as grey long female that is grey colour of the body and the long wings and the second one it is the uh, considered as the male here you can see the black coloured body and vestigial wings uh, that is the wings has been reduced to some extent so that is considered as a male here grey colour body colour and the long wing they are the dominant characters and black colour body colour and the vestigial wings they are the recessive character now when they crossed in the F1 you get grey long it is a hybrid because you can see in the picture itself the grey long female you can see capital G capital G capital L capital L so it is completely dominant and when you see the black vestigial it is small g small g small l small l so it is completely recessive in the F1 you will get a hybrid that is why I have been marked as grey long hybrid because there is one capital G one small g one capital L and one small l. Uh, so, in the hybrid itself, so we know the concept even though one dominant uh, character is present, it will represent the dominant alone. So, it is representing the grey long, but it is in the heterozygous condition, it is not a completely a homozygous grey long, ok. That is why I have given the term hybrid. Now, uh, it is the same F1, when I am uh, this F1. Now when I am going to cross this F1 that is considered the female as the F1 and the male as the same parent. So that we call it as the recessive back cross is that right. So the F1 when you crossed with the female uh, recessive parent. So now as a result what you will get you can just see the result what you will get in the before and before you can see it is the thing. Uh, uh, you get the F1 hybrid isn't it this F1 hybrid now it has been again crossed now you can see the gametes and the first you can see the um, gametes has been crossing over has been occurred and you get the new combination what I explained in the first uh, two slides where the crossing over occurs. So what you are getting here uh, the first one it is the pure parental combination and the second you get the pure parental and the third and fourth you get the uh, new combination that is the first one it is the grey long second one black black vestigial and the third one it is black and long and the fourth one it is the grey and vestigial when it uh, so it is the gametes which has been formed that is due to the crossing over uh, in the first thing you are getting the same parent so no crossing over occurs in the second side you can see the crossing over has occurred so get a new combination now it has been crossed with the so in the F1 it has been occurred the crossing over now it is crossed with the black vestigial that is it is your male. So in the black vestigial when you are crossing now you are getting a new thing so you are getting the grey lunch 47 percentage and uh, black vestigial it has been the 47 percentage and grey vestigial and black long you get the small amount of combinations. So I, I have given the thing it is a grey long. Uh, you, you can it is the parental combination and black vestigial it is the parental combination because both the parents they are in the pure in the homozygous condition that is it is purely dominant grey long and it is purely recessive black vestigial but when it comes to the new combination you can get one dominant character one recessive combination that is the thing which has been occurred during due to crossing over that is what I have explained it is the non crossover it is the crossover and you have to um, see that one concept the non crossover the percentage will be very much reduced in the crossing over only the more non crossing over the percentage will be more that is the parental combination will be retained in more combination more percentage and the non parental combination which has been occurred due to crossing over or the recombination of genes which has been occurred which will, uh, will be in the lesser number that is why you are getting a grey vestigial and black long that is the new combination. This you might are observed in the Drosophila, the fruit fly that is Drosophila melanogaster. Okay. You can see the grey long 41.5 percentage, it is the parental combination. The last one black vestigial, it is 41.5 percentage. The both are the parental combination and grey vestigial because grey is a dominant, vestigial is a recessive. I given the name capital G small l, so 8.5 percentage and black long it is small g and it is a capital L, one capital L is enough because for dom representing the dominant character one letter is enough, it is 8.5 percentage. So the new, new combinations that is a recombinations which has occurred due to crossing over it has been totally of 17 percentage and the other it has been of totally 41 plus 41.5 it is the 83 percentage, okay. So totally 100 percentage. 
So, it is the thing which will be occurred due to the crossing over that is the recombination of genes. It is the specialized characters which will occur only during the meiosis 1. Okay. Thank you girls. Thank you for everyone for watching this video. We shall see the next topic in the next video. Thank you.